Hey guys, here we are in the Mazda MX-5 Cup cars at Mount Panorama for a 35 minute race. This race we had a lot of uh, close battling because of the long straights that you could like stay in the draft. So, had a lot of draft trains that we were working with and as we start the final four laps here, I'm in fifth place trying to figure out how to get to the lead and I think we had a lot of uh, entertaining battles. So, hope you enjoy and see you at the end. As we exit turn one here, I'm just going to go to TV view so you can see how close everyone is. As you go down the straight, you can see this long train of cars. I'm trying to find out which lane to go in through here. Side by side for the lead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars valley for the lead right now. Well, within a second or so, I can go back on board. three wide there for a minute, just wanted to be safe, went to the very right hand side of the track and gained a spot there, so now we're up to fourth place. As we approach the chase at around 140 miles per hour, we're just trying to find out which lane to go into here. Don't want to overshoot the corner, and still side by side for the lead, you're pretty close, and the guy in front of us gets a bit loose on eggs. If you have a run, him, can't really go anywhere with it, just gets stuck right behind for now. Still in fourth place. Looking for the inside here, is it going to work? Not really for now. And we're just going to stay right behind. We're still in the draft though, so it's looking good as we get to the line. Three laps to go. Going to the left hand side of the track allows us to get alongside another car and make another spot up. So now we're up to third place. We actually built a pretty big gap in fourth place. Let's go back and see what happened there. Um, was, there con was there contact perhaps? Looks like the car behind was also trying to make it through and yeah, attacked them a bit. Oh, car got spun around there. I'm not going to go back and look at it right now. All I know is it's basically down to a three car fight here. Let's just uh, watch what it looks like going up and down the hill in these MX5s. Was well, a seven car pack, and the other cars aren't too far away now, but it's gonna be hard for them to catch us. Tight in 
twisty, <laughs> challenging downhill section here. You gotta get close to those walls, but you gotta make sure not to hit them too. Going down the back straight for third to last time here. Let's see if second place can get a run on the leader here. Pulls out alongside. Just about clears him. And we have a new leader as we come to two laps to go. Right on board here for this next lap. Just trying to see if I can get a run. If I can, I'll make sure to go alongside the five. See if I can take second place here. Wanna be in second place as I start this last lap, but still two to go. We're gonna push him. We actually are gonna push him to see if he can keep up with the leader. And now we're gonna go alongside as we go to the breaking zone, but he covers us off. Now we're gonna be stuck behind for now. Through this uphill section, you're kind of just stuck behind. You can't really make any big moves. I'm just going to fast forward through this until I get to the downhill, or at least till Forest Elbow. So, let's see, second place is staying behind, just pushing him, making sure he's right on his bumper. That way, once he gets to Forest Elbow, he has a really good shot. Downhill, everything stays smooth. And now, here's our best chance. Getting real close to the inside wall there, trying to get a good exit. How close are we going to get? Which side do we go with? Left or right? Left or right? We're going to go the right side. We have to back off at the curve there. We just don't want to run too wide and hit the car. We're still in third, but the lead has switched around once again. Coming to the white flag lap. One lap to go. What can we do? Really trying to get a good exit out of this first corner. Second place moves along, so we're going to follow him. I feel like this outside lane in the second corner isn't that good, but if you can at least stay alongside the car, as we are, we're catching up to that car, we're alongside, pushing the car ahead, can't really go anywhere else. And the car until we give him some room. Are we going to stay alongside? No, he just about clears us here, so it's unfortunate we actually lose a bit of time to the leader, so we're going to have to work through this uphill section to catch him. Going back to TV view, I'm just going to show what the gaps are up this hill. You can just see fourth place in the background there, but they're pretty much out of this race at this moment. As we go back in the downhill section, just going to go back on board. Final half a lap. Here's our best chance. We gotta do something here. Forest double. Make sure you get a good exit. Tight entry right at the apex. That's just about as good as you can get there. We're still a bit off of second place here, but we're hoping he gets a good run onto the lead. We're both within slipstream range. Let's see if we can push the five. Where's the five gonna go? Give him a nice push.
the leader dives into the corner, overshoots, it has to cut through the grass. It's the five car. We're looking, where do we go? We go to the inside. He leaves the door open. I think the leader has a slowdown penalty for cutting the corner. We go to his inside, three wide into the final corner. Hold it as tight as we can, right over the curb. Coming to the line, and... Looking at the results, we got the win by one hundredth of a second. Now let's go watch that last half of a lap from TDU just to see what happened, since that was a crazy last half lap. So you can see here we're pretty close to the five car, just waiting to push him here. He has a great run on the leader. Get them alongside. Don't know who's going to take the lead. The inside car overshoots the braking zone, misses the corner. The five takes his line, but then just gets stuck behind the one. I think he can think we're going to his left. He starts to block to the right, and then we go over to the left. We literally have to go partially in the pit lane here to get alongside. Three wide. Small contact with that five. We try to give him as much room, and then the one comes back at us to the line. And the finish line's way early. Let's see if he can actually get a real close view on this rear chase so you can see just how much room we left we ch oh dang it come on okay you can see just how much room we were trying to leave we went all the way to the curving so we did all we could that lost all our momentum on exit though here comes the one car and then going slow motion to the line finish Right, we're almost there. There, that is the margin of victory. Let's see if we can actually get a good view of this. If we just zoom in a little bit here, that close. <laughs> I don't know how much close you can get. Now let's watch the ones on board view through that last uh, section. Come on, there it is. Yeah. Let's just watch uh, him cutting the corner. See, so he tried to correct the car, eventually did. That little tap from behind actually helped him. Tried to burn the penalty here. And he sees a car on his left hand side over there. Small battle up ahead, looks for the inside, there's a spot. Bells to the line. When, let's just look to the right, see what that, how close. But man, that was <laughs> an exciting final four laps. I never thought I actually had that battle won. See, right there. That's the gap. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I don't know where I pulled that out. I never had a shot. I was, I was in third place like the last three laps and somehow got the win and the top three all got uh within like a quarter second let's just watch on board from this guy oh actually let's just see again what the three wide view looks like yeah that, that that's pretty cool and back on board Yeah, I think he just kind of turned in too much, even though I was there. He was just trying to make sure he could make the corner, but might have been a bit of net code. Uh, maybe a little there, but I tried to keep it as clean as I could, and somehow he came out with the victory, so... Yeah, that <laughs> we don't get that many photo finishes that often, so I had to uh, celebrate the summit I could. And I ended up going from 8th to 1st, so yeah, we actually had to fight through the field here. So yeah, here are the segments that were used. Thanks for watching, guys, and hope you enjoyed.